Okay, I'm gonna walk the bridge first and then set up for some still photographs. I am going from railway north to south. Just love this sound. Nice valley. Still some mist. Gotta check that out. Here's the curve and the trestle so you can see how it just narrows down at one end. I'm actually more comfortable and safe, I think, walking on ties on top of a stringer than on the walking deck. Just don't trust, don't trust the flimsy metal. Oh my, this is going to be a nice gorge. How is that? For a nice photograph. Wow. Yeah, this is what it's looking like where I'm walking. Right on the edge. There is the East Fork River. This is quite the structure. I mean, it survived the washout of one of the trestle towers, which washed away one of the spans, and all that was left hanging was the rails, the rails and ties, and uh, it was found by a maintenance or inspection vehicle or speeder, thankfully not by a train, and they repaired it really quick. This is beautiful. I learned about this bridge from the um, Englewood Railway, Last of the Railway Loggers, book by um, Sandy Macham and Maynard Atkinson. I'm so thankful for their work. I mean, if I had one little quibble, it would be I would have loved to have seen a table or a chart or a list of all the bridges and trestles on the Englewood Logging Railway with things like length and height, but also just the mileage. So I had a list to go from, but I don't. So I'm able to sort of piece it together by things like I've seen photographs by Googling and seeing this listed as mile post 2.9. And around the corner would probably be the mile post three sign. So I'd be able to verify that. That's okay. Here we are. Curve 15. Time to have some fun. It's gonna rain soon. Time to get my work done. And then I don't mind walking back to the car in the rain. Happy that I got my shots. I'm at the north end. There you can see the abutment logs. A couple old cars. Alder trees always let you know where there used to be a road. And there used to be roads up on the mountain slope. I'm out on the log abutment, just getting a side view from the north end of the trestle towers and the uh, 
deck plate girder. I'm working this southward view, showing the curve and the trestle towers. And one thing I've learned already is this walking platform has a lot of give to it. So when I take my shot, I am standing on the wood and I got a nice uh, two second delay on the camera to stop the shake. I'm sure I'm happy I can lean on this railing. It's time to look inside. I got one of the trestle towers right below me. These are actually double towers. One tower right next to the other. <laughs> this is a nice view. All the way down to the bottom. And now I'm right above the creek, so that's a good time to look down and in. This actually hurts, it's sharp, it hurts my knees. I'll be brave. <laughs> There's the name. Curve 15 is the trestle. Never figured out what the steel box is. Left over from something.
It is a big steel box with a hole in the top. That's a nice view from here. One more photograph before the rain comes. Okay, let's walk across for a final time. This is the metal great walkway. Not great for photography, not great for leaning on with your knees because it hurts. <laughs> I need to take a look for the waterfall because there is one there. I've seen the pool at the bottom, but I haven't seen the actual falls yet. We'll see what angle I can get. I'm going to go into dreaded vertical mode. Here I go. I will get a photograph. There is quite a gorge down there. Steep rock walls on both sides. And then it mellows out on the other side of the bridge. One last time, south to north. This is a really nice bridge or trestle wall, whatever I want to call. I mean, there's a number of deck plate girder spans supported by trestle towers. So, you know, it's a steel trestle. What a beautiful structure. What a waste and shame, though, that it's not being used as a logging railway. that deep canyon down there. What a beautiful place. And a nice mist that begs for a photograph. gap is, which then narrows, because I'm on the curve. I will likely never see this structure with rails on it again. That's sad, but I'm glad I got a chance to see it now and to document it for the sake of history. Now to continue walking northward for a couple miles and uh, hopefully not get rained on too much.